So Jaden Ivey and Cade Cunningham took offense to the fans yelling, chanting, sell the team. I don't know why they took offense to it because I'm sure they hear much worse things on social media and when they're playing away games. It's just, I think when the fans say that, it is it, it can be warranted sometimes because I think it was Keith Smith that said, either Keith Smith or Sam Vecini, it was one of their tweets, maybe it was somebody else, where they're saying like a good team is a product of a great a great owner. And that is why there are some teams that are always near the top because they have an owner that is invested and really cares about the product they're putting on the floor or the field. And sometimes with Tom Gores, it doesn't really seem that way. But then there are other times where he's willing to spend the money where it does. So I don't know. We'll, I, will, I guess we'll give it a few more years to see how he really cares about this team. But I didn't think selling the team chant was that bad. And it's just an odd thing for them to bring up in their press conference. I don't know if there's more to it or not. Yeah, I, I saw the comments. Um, you know, the, the way the players took it was like, you know, if you're not with us during this losing streak, then don't be with us when we, you know, yeah. start winning games. And my thought process behind this, and I even saw some, you know, fans like tell the beat reporters, like, hey, like tell the players that this isn't directed towards them. Yeah. And that's the way I took it too. Because when we were playing, I want to say it was the Nets. Uh, there was really loud of fans saying, sell the team. And the way I took it, it wasn't directed towards the players. It was directed towards the owner at the end of the day. That was directed toward Tom Gores. Because a lot of Pistons fans speculated with the sell the team chance. Really, oh, you want to move the Pistons? You want them to relocate? No, I mean, you can sell the team and still keep the team in Detroit. Yeah. I, I, I think a lot of people, when they read the Tom Gores letter to the fans – quote unquote, it wasn't really a letter, but you know what I mean. Um, when they saw the last quote saying, we've done a lot into the community outside of winning basketball games, I think that just pissed fans off a lot. They're like, dude, no one gives a shit if you're charitable. Winning basketball games should be your number one priority. Nobody cares that you donate, you know, bicycles to these kids. Like, actually put that same amount of effort <laughs> into a winning product on the floor and we won't be on your ass. And I, I think that's what a lot of fans were, you know, trying to explain to the players and these beat writers, like, we're not attacking you. Like, we just don't like the owner. here. We think he should sell the team to someone that's more serious about winning basketball games because over the last 15 years, this, you know, organization hasn't won a lot of basketball games. They've made the playoffs, but they've gotten bounced in the first round for, you know, the last two times they have made the playoffs. I think more fans were directed towards the their anger towards Tom Gores, not the players. Yeah, I don't know why the players took it that way either because yeah. I'm not – I would never say anything crazy about – I mean, we'll talk about the players like we always do on the podcast, but nothing is just too crazy or out of pocket. And when I've said sell the team, it was never because of the players on the floor. It was, it was just the overall – you know, I just felt like the owner. There are certain owners in sports – it doesn't seem like they care because, like, there's no incentive to win basketball games or football games or baseball or hockey games. Like, you get to keep your team regardless. There's no criteria for being an, an owner in professional sports. You just got to have the money, and that's it. So it's just more of like, dude, you sell the team, give me a guy or give me a, a woman in place that wants to bring a winning team to Detroit. I would take that over anything. And – I don't see that as offensive at all. I mean, I just don't. And I'm, it's a little disappointing that the players took it that way. And if Ashton's watching right now, like, please tell Kate we didn't mean we weren't calling out the players. We were just calling out the owner of the team. That's all we were doing. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I made it pretty clear. Like, my, my frustration towards the sell the team chance was not directed towards any of the players. Yeah. And like, I explained that on Instagram. Like, I have no, problems with any of the players on the Pistons. I think my frustration as a fan over the last couple of years has been an owner that is just not around, not involved enough, in my opinion. Um, I told you, you get three times a year. You you get to, when a player gets drafted, you get a midseason game, uh, whether that's the Lakers or the Clippers, and then you get a April press conference when he comes to town 
of you know the whole media swarming him, asking him what went wrong this season, Tom. Like that's the three times a year you will see or hear from Tom Gores. He's just not available. And another thing, you cannot pat yourself on the back for being a charitable person. Because then it just kind of goes out the window. Like, if you want to donate to charity, cool. Mm -hmm. um, no one's going to pat you on the back for it. Like, you should do it because you you want to do it. Yep. You shouldn't do it because you want to brag on it. Like, oh, you know, I've done, you know, multi-billion dollar deals and I'm a very charitable person. Like, dude, nobody cares about that. They don't. Like, if it's great. You've built tons of basketball courts. You've done tons um, with the, his Flint Now Flint Now project. Like, he's done a lot of great for the community. I'm, I'm not saying that, but when you go in an article and say, like, hey, um, outside of winning basketball, I've done a lot. Like, dude, nobody cares. Yeah. And you, he could still do that stuff because he's a billionaire. Like, you don't have to do it as the Detroit Pistons. You could just do it as Tom Gores. You know what I'm saying? And you'd probably get more praise doing it that way than you would just saying, like, hey, look at all – check all these things off. No, the one box I want checked off is a winning basketball team. That's literally all I care about. That That is all I care about when it comes for the Detroit Pistons. It's literally a tax write-off, too, so you're not that charitable, dude. Yeah. <laughs> tax season's right now, man. You need those write-offs, and, you know, all that charity is a tax write-off at the end of the day. That's what you got to tell you. That's what you got to remind yourself, like, hey, man. That's true. That's true.